guys, welcome back. Mr. XT back here, carrying on from where we left off. Uh, so when we left off, you could um, you can move around, you can crouch, you can do everything, but you can't crouch under objects as for now, because it only changes where our camera is looking and not actually the collider itself. So we're gonna go ahead and change that now. So let's uh, have an open script. Go ahead and open the player controller script. Okay, so this is the script where we left it off. We're going to go ahead and create a couple of variables. So yeah, let's go ahead. First variable is going to be our actual... Wait, we've got player object, so... Okay, first variable is going to be our character controller, which is pretty much the same. So player car cunt, practically character controller. <laughs> And then this is actually going to be character I don't know character control okay this error just didn't show up it got me confused okay so and then the second one is going to be our actually no we, we won't need to do that because we've already got all the speeds and everything sorted out so that'll be fine. Uh, now we're going to... Uh, see, I really want to explain it, but I don't want to confuse you guys because we haven't done it yet. And the way I'm thinking of explaining it is explaining it. Granted, we've already done it, so I'll just explain it at the end. So we want our crouch height. That's going to be a float. Now let's leave that closed. And we also want our prone height and that's also going to be a float um, mm, I'm pretty sure that's all we need is prone crouching uh, we won't need anything else either, either way we can just come back to it if we do right so I'm going to go ahead and create a new function and this is practically going to how should I put this first part of the controller let's go to the graphics Okay, now this isn't with the collider, but what it's practically going to do is when we crouch, it's going to shrink the collider down. When we stand, it's going to put it back to normal. And then when we prone, it'll go even lower, meaning that we'll be able to fit under small objects. Okay. So, let's, let's do that then. So, function. And this is going to be called, what should we call this? Player body. <laughs> okay, so player body. We want to put this in the update like we usually do. Why is it so many spaces here? Okay, in the update. Sorry about that one. So there, save, go down, click here. Okay, so now we're going to have our if statements. We're practically going to have the same as these, so we'll just copy these, paste it there, and then just get rid of the play the animation. Save. <laughs> Talk about shortcuts though, that's what I like. Now we're gonna have our uh, player character controller. Wait, we want the con yeah, we want the control. Player character controller, and now what we want to do with that is we want to get the height, which is literally character controller, the height. And there we go, that, that'll do the height for the cat. Okay, wait, I may as well show you guys, I'm confusing myself here slowly. <laughs> So what we got, we got the character controller, which is why we called the variable character controller because it grabs the script. And when we we got the height, which I'm pretty sure is somewhere I've probably gone past that. I'm looking at character motor. <laughs> what an ass! Here we go, character controller, and height, which is what we get. And so far, it starts off at two and crouching we'd probably want to go to about one and prone probably about I don't know we'll, we'll work it out and what this does is it changes the height of the collider as you can see so yeah crouching would go to about one and then height would be about 0 0.1 I guess yeah okay so let's change that back to where it was too Okay, so 
as we all know that 2 starts off as the default we're going to go ahead and create if statement where we're perhaps going to put like yeah well, yeah I'll do it then explain player if player character controller damn it messed that up forgot what I put okay it was the T <laughs> is equal to 2 then then it's then it's fine we want to set it to wait 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 I'll just change it to two just to keep it at two. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't even think I needed to add that there. I'll just come this up because we don't want to. Just using that as reference. I'm going to have an else if character controller is less than. Yeah, is less than two. Then character player controller dot height uh, plus equals equals 0 0.1 close that okay so if we're standing and play controller equals 2 then it's set to 2 if it's not if it's lower than 2 which it won't be higher so it'll only be lower so if we come from crouching then it'll lift it back up and should bring it back up to 2 Okay, wait, let's move this, like, here. Okay. Now we're going to do roughly the same for number one. So let's go ahead and paste that. And we want to change this to crouching height. Did I put crouch height? Oh, well. Okay, so now if play status is equal to one, player controller equals crouch height crouch height crouch height I'm gonna go ahead and copy this okay so now we want to change this to uh, smaller than crouch height uh, wait wait yeah that's definitely small Wait, that means I got this one up here wrong. If player controller is larger than two. Wrong one. That's meant to be smaller. Okay, so here's smaller. Then you'll use the plus, and if it's larger, you'll use the minus. Save. And now you want to copy all of this. Put it in player state two. Put this down. Put this down. Place that down. Okay. So now it's the same except we want to change that to prone height. So let's go down. Prone, 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 prone. Okay, so that should be fine. So save. Let's take a look. Play. Oh. Why, what have I. Oh, okay, I see. I forgot to put the dot height in the if statement. Okay, so we'll just no biggie. We we'll just put those in. Okay, I did that. That's not in the if statement. So no, 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 that that one's meant to be play state. I just got confused there. Okay, play Larry. Really messed up here, didn't I? So no, paste. 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 Save. I probably missed one out. Let's just take a look. Then we're all good. Okay, so if we play, now we're looking at the top screen. Let's get some space. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't set the variables. That makes sense. Uh, play. So I'm gonna control it. See that one. First of all, I'm going to change the 3D gizmos to smaller. Then we hit play. A bit same, but like, hit crouching. Okay, see that works? Okay, wait, let me. Make sure get on there. Here we go. Now, if we look at the collider, the collider actually changes shape. And 
it doesn't for those two. What, what's up there? Have I like? I think I know what I've done. Let's go to. Is it here? Camera location. Yeah, crouch height and prone height is exactly the same. Crouch height would be one. Okay. I think we can all agree that that was a. Uh, I think I know what's going on. Okay, play. Uh, not play. <laughs> Scripts. <laughs> okay, so I got prone height here. So, well, we already know what the prone height and everything's gonna be. So instead of saying like prone height and everything, I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Hope that helps. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna have to set a couple of boundaries on here. So right now, uh, it just keeps changing because it keeps going over, it keeps going under, whatever. So what we're gonna do instead of, I'll we'll leave that by equals to. Uh, so if it's okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add some boundaries here. Else, if player is larger than two. Then we're going to set it to 2 so now it won't go over. That one wasn't the problem, it was actually these ones down here. But it's just, you know, so you guys can see what I mean. Okay, so now this is the bit where we're going to have to change the most. This bit up there, that's fine. I, I'm pretty sure it's about crouch wrong. I don't know, that might be right, but it looks like crouch. <laughs> Okay, so our crouch height is going to be 1, so as I'll just change it to 1, and yeah, do the same, else, uh, wait, no, uh, we'll just, okay, if it's 1, then it's 1, if it's smaller than 0 0.9, should we say, let's try that, smaller than 0 0.9, wait, that's larger, damn it, smaller than, <laughs> 0.9 and larger than 1.1 1 .1. we'll just give it some leeway 1.1 then it does those and if it is larger than 1.1 1 .1, we minus no that's that's that is fine that's fine okay so I've given that some leeway uh, we actually don't need the plus one because nothing will be smaller than prone. Uh, should be fine, it's flat. Let's check it out. I can't see the problem there, but let's just check that. Okay, yeah, that does work. But then that doesn't. Okay, so. <coughs> Uh, if we, you can see that we're adding 0 0.1 every time we lift. So, and it adds it while we're on the ground, and because it adds it from the middle, it expands both sides. Uh, meaning that half of it will go through the ground, and on Unity, as soon as you break a collider, that collider no longer exists, meaning that you'll just fall through it. So, we're going to have to make the player lift a little bit as well. So, that should be fine. We'll just. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do. We're gonna need a player object here. Okay, so if we go down here and where it says plus 0.1, just above that you want to do player object dot transform dot position dot y plus equals one. Okay, so now not only it'll plus the collider, it'll also plus the player. I'm pretty sure we copy this and. We put it here. Delete that. Delete that. Save that. Go on here. Now, if we hit play. Holy shit. No, <laughs> what? Why is it adding so much? Oh, right, I got plus one. Okay, let's. 
change that to 0 0.1 and I got it somewhere down here as well somewhere there okay 0 0.1 let's go back here hit play there we go it's perfect except you can see our camera goes through the floor but that's right that just requires a bit of animation adjustment which we'll quickly do now so animation we're gonna go to our camera location and stand is fine, crouch we're gonna lift up a little bit because it now goes down a bit more so it's gonna be 7 and prone, we obviously want to lift that up quite a bit because that goes down quite a bit to about 2 point, well yeah, delete that one okay another one, wait, delete, 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 delete why is there so many? okay there we go then we create Make sure it's loop, and I think I forgot to do that for the crouch. Yeah, delete that one. I really don't remember creating so many keyframes. Okay, make sure that's loop. Close that. Now it should be fine. So we hit that play button, and there you go. Now let's just, yep, you can crouch under things. Bingo. Uh-huh. Okay, so that now works. You guys will be glad to hear it. So, uh, we have a glitch though, which is you can crouch under this and then you can stand up and you're inside a cube and you're actually stuck there until you crouch and get back out. We're going to go ahead and fix that glitch in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Well, speak to you. <laughs>